important. The state's overall financial condition is looking a little concerning. Lawmakers today heard from top New Jersey fiscal analysts about those updated revenue forecasts, shaving off more than a billion dollars than initially predicted, prompting a number of groups to protest today in Trenton, demanding officials continue taxing wealthy corporations to make up for the struggles facing more working families. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. While progressives protested outside the state house demanding more tax revenues to benefit working families, lawmakers inside heard budget experts predict New Jersey is going to take a revenue hit. The state will collect almost $2 billion less in taxes over the next couple years than they originally forecast. The nonpartisan Office of Legislative Services explained a slowing economy dragged down April tax filings. And yet, this is not the cataclysmic event it would have been 10 or 20 years ago. Revised OLS estimates for state revenue dropped $1.27 billion for the rest of this fiscal year and decreased $705 million in the next totaling $1.97 billion. However, the lower estimates should not prompt lawmakers to get out their budget hatchets, OLS advised. Today's news of a $2 billion projected decline relative to our last forecast does not automatically require hard budgetary choices through the end of June. Our downward revision today might therefore signal the end of the period of exuberance, but it does not herald a round of gloom and doom. State Treasurer Elizabeth Mayor Moyo echoed that guarded optimism, pointing to New Jersey's surplus. Treasury will revise it downward by a couple billion dollars to $7.9 billion to account for lower tax collections. Recalling the Great Recession, lawmakers wanted assurances. It just took New Jersey a lot longer to be able to get out of where we were um, just because of all the slashing we had to do, correct? So if we, if we maintain a certain level that then we're able to keep people employed, some money back into the economy, we should, if we have to uh, go through a storm, be able to come out of it a lot quicker than we did previously, correct? It's not great news, the April returns, but we could all sleep at night knowing that we had done our job and built in enough of a surplus that we could weather it. The treasurer said that surplus remains a cushion against any potential fallout in the event the national debt ceiling deadlock isn't resolved. The repercussions financially for us and for every state will be could be very severe and long term because just the reputation of the, the U.S dollar and and our credit is going to take a hit worldwide um, which is going to affect New Jersey. We have a lot of high income earners in this state. We're heading into a moment where federal funding for, for the pandemic is winding down. That's why a coalition of lobbyists demanded Governor Murphy should not allow a 2.5 percent surcharge on the corporate business tax to expire on December 31st. They unrolled a 534-foot scroll showing $25 billion in annual corporate profits. To end the surcharge is to give mega corporations a major tax cut. This is a line in the sand moment, right? Are they going to stand with Amazon or are they going to stand with New Jersey working families, right? And in this moment where people have lost breadwinners to COVID, the rent has an all-time high, groceries at an all-time high. The state is running this, taking this massive risk to forfeit more revenue. Governor Murphy has said he'll stand by the deal he made to let that surcharge expire. New Jersey must pass a balanced budget by July 1st. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.